Good question. But I think I briefly covered this once before. I, I'm just going to tell you, man, it's real simple. You go to the plant. Go in the plant, sign in, check in, give them what you're there to pick up, just like you would at a normal shipper. And then they tell you, okay, here, sign the bills, sign this, sign that. Go out, go get the trailer, come back around, come across a scale. They'll bring you a scale ticket, bill of lading, uh, C of A, and, you know, SDS, stuff you're going to need. And the only thing you have to do is get it to your destination. Now, when, once you get it to the receiver, you're either going to let them unload it. Sometimes they'll tell you to sit in the truck. Sometimes they'll tell you to sit in another building. Sometimes they'll tell you to come to the back and sit over here in this chair and watch to make sure nothing leaks. That's pretty much it, man. And if you have to do anything, typically what for where I work, um, I hook an airline up to the top of the trailer, a hose to the back of the trailer or the side of the trailer, depending on where the, where the dump on the trailer is, hook a hose in there, hook the hose up wherever they want it to be, and that's it. And then just open up the valves and just let it all go. I mean, it's super simple. Nothing physically demanding, super easy. Takes between 30 minutes and two hours to unload a trailer, depending on, you know, like I said, what you're hauling, how much air is going through the trailer, and that sort of thing. Pay-wise, it's pretty good. They take care of you, man. Every little thing that you do, they pay you for. So I'm gonna show you this pay stub I got this last week. Now the whole week I only ran like 4,700 miles. And if you break that down by the mileage rate, my mileage rate averaged like 81 cents a mile and some change. But I did have a 14 hour delay, which I was paid $227 for. I did have, uh, when I, that delay affected what I was dispatched on after that load. So they paid me $137 to not take that load. And I spent 4.75 hours delayed at a customer because they had like nine of us coming at one time. So 4.7 hours, I got paid uh, like $94 for that. So they pay you for that stuff as long as you notate it on your uh, sheet when you turn it in. So I didn't run that many miles for two weeks. I mean, that averages out to like almost 2,400 miles a week. But my gross was a little over 3,800. So I made a little over 1,900 a week. And I barely really, I did what, five loads, six loads total. I barely did any work and I made that. So yeah, you can make more money than that working here, but you don't have to. <laughs> I guess it depends on you, but if I were to make that kind of money all the time, I would be looking at right over 100K. And you can make more than that. And like I said, depending on how close you live to the terminal, you could be home daily. You could be home every other day. Or you could come out, work, just stay out for five days, six days, whatever you want to do, and then go home if you wanted to do that. You'll have to take a 34 somewhere. But pretty much everything we do is out and back to the terminal. So um, we normally go to the plant, pick up the loaded trailer, and what we do is once it's empty, we'll bring that empty trailer back to the yard, back to your terminal. Unless it's a specific type of trailer or you hauled a specific type of chemical, the plant may want that trailer brought back to them. Again, super easy, man. And that's kind of the workflow and the money. So I've had you guys asking about that. I was gonna post this video Saturday, but I went home Saturday and hung out with my family. And to me, that was a little bit more important. But hey, I do wanna get this information out there to you. 90 days in, still here, still loving it. And there you go, guys. That's a little info for you. I have not received my 401k packet yet. When I do, I'll tell you guys about that. I was actually waiting on that before I tell you guys anything else but I haven't received it yet, so once I get that in, I'll uh, go over it with you if I can, or I'll show it to you, and you can do what you want with it from there. But um, like I said, 401k is like you put in 6% and the company puts in 3%. They give you 50 cents on the dollar up to 6%. So there you go, that's how that works. Almost like Estes, except Estes was 7%. So anyway, a lot less work, way less headache, 
and same money as LTL. So would I ever get out of this and go back to LTL? Probably not.